it started there are like 15 trainees in the session um okay so it is your second stand up for week 12 so congratulations for making it to week 12 that is a really big deal it has been three months of intensive training and you guys are still here you're still standing so don't ever forget that that is a super big deal um so well done are there any announcements from the teen academy team whoever is here so if there are any announcements we can just share those now okay it seems there are no announcements and there are none from my side either so i'm sure that everyone is familiar with how i lead stand up i'm going to wait a few minutes for people to volunteer to share the experiences so far with us and then we'll go down the list of people who are here and hopefully more people will join in the meantime so i'll wait for anyone to volunteer good morning stella please go ahead good morning i hope that you can hear me yes i can hear you okay so for me yesterday um i was going through the challenge document um i have gone through the resources but i have not started working on it um because i had some pending uh things to do from last week's part so i need to finish that first and that's what i've been working on i'm almost done then i can start uh, doing um implementing the shift to the other technologies yeah so i'll be I don't have any blockers currently, and I'll be reaching out to um, anyone who has managed. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Um, everyone who hasn't, just before we continue, everyone who hasn't submitted any work, please do submit it. Um, we will still look at it, um, so please do submit. Uh, Remit, good morning. Please share. Okay. Good morning, everyone. So I was just working on the project, uh, the unfinished project I've done so far since I'm, since I'm Web3. So that's what I have been doing. Uh, no blocker so far, just some personal issues that come along, but now everything is fine. So I'm just working on the projects. Okay, I'm sorry that you've been facing those issues. I hope they are resolved now. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, Kevin, go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so morning, Katie. Yesterday, I was trying to go through week 12 document challenge and try to to go through some resources provided and uh, today I'm planning to start the project not broker so far okay thank you for sharing I'm really glad to hear that you haven't faced any blockers Matilda good morning good morning Karen good morning everyone um so yesterday I went through the document the challenge document and I decided to work on the unfinished project, um, the one we did last week because I didn't manage to finish it. So I'll be working on it first and then um, get started on this week's challenge. Yeah, that's my progress. Thank you. Okay, that's good that you are continuing and completing everything. Thank you. Uh, Daniel, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Please go ahead. 
Good morning, everyone. So yesterday, I've been going through the challenge document, tried to understand the challenge. And I've been also working on last week's assignment since I haven't done it properly. No blockers so far. Thank you. OK, thank you so much. Um, Biniam, good morning. If you can share and then Haywan can go ahead after you. Okay, I'm not sure if Biniam can speak. Uh, Haywan, please go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Um, my updates for yesterday was uh, I, I, I went through the challenge document and tried to understand it. Uh, and also register for a test gorilla. So I will be taking the test today. Uh, I've, I've also been working on last week's uh, project at the same time uh, to complete unfinished works. So thank you, this is my update. Thank you for that. Um, Biniam, then you need to share in the messages. Um, Biruk, good morning. Could you please share? Hello, morning. Sorry. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, yesterday I went through the challenge document as well, <clears throat> and I tried to understand, uh, uh, the challenge and what is expected for me. Um, and also, I go I, I, I go through the uh, test gorilla um, exam. I try to understand how we are going to take the the exam, but I still want some more uh, explanation about it. How what it looks like and uh, the the time limit. And can we also retake the exam, something like that? So if there is anyone here who took the exam already, so I will. Uh, I love to hear the the detail and the things we need to make myself ready. Um, yeah, that's that's my update. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is there anyone who can help? Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi. So. Hi. Uh, in terms of those test gorilla, I think it's actually that you will take it only once, and the time is already stated. As soon as you open it, it tells you how long do you have. Um, in my case, for example, just I allowed a ten percent more time, but it depends, you know, in real, uh, actually situation where companies. We don't know how much they will allow you. So in principle, you should expect to finish. And then you have to know that for some of the coding tests, there are a couple of tests. Some are aptitude kind of tests and some are uh, skill tests. So in this case, the skill test, it's only for tests. So it's a JavaScript uh, based. And if I allow you to take multiple tests, you can, but at the moment you don't. So you just basically, and then I think in principle, you are allowed because there are different tests within one test. There are, um, so in principle, you are allowed to finish like one and then continue the other one later. But they recommend you, of course, to do it all in one. And in, in that case, it will take you something like 54 minutes, the one I gave you. But an actual company, when they give you, usually it's about one hour or two hours. And then in that two hours, they might even just only give you one test. So it could be just a Python advanced code coding and they give you like two hours and you have, once you start that kind of one, one course, you have to just finish it within one time. And you have to make sure that your webcam is uh, ready. So that means they take every 70 second more or less, um, some kind of picture because that way they control whether in what you are doing. Of course you don't see it, but the summary of that will be presented to the employer. So I would say just get used to that format where you basically get in, you know, in your in your thing. In in principle, when you are writing essays or whatever, you probably don't need to you don't change windows. 
but if you are coding, you can actually they allow you to change to a different uh, like kind of code editor. Um, so those are all explained. So you just have to read exactly the guidelines. There, you know, they are very professional, so they explain every single detail, and it shouldn't be a problem. Even if I don't tell you all this detail, this all detail only just is for you to to make. Um, can anyone else hear Yabuba, or is it just me that cannot hear him anymore? Yeah, I think we do. Okay, see. Yabuba, if you can hear, we have lost you, so let's give him a moment. Um, okay, okay, he has left, so maybe there's an issue. Dag Maui, good morning. Could you please share? Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so uh, yesterday I was going to through the challenge document and uh, try to see how I can version my uh, visualization as well as my uh, database. So uh, I bet I actually have uh, uh, have not joined the last stand-up call and uh, I needed that explanation that Yabbal was giving uh, just before me and uh, try to register to the uh, to the to the Guru Latists and uh, try to take the test today and uh, that's my update yeah thank you um i think yababa has rejoined so i'm not sure if he needs to continue yeah okay I, i'm not sure when you when i dropped um but i was just really saying that a lot of the information you need is already given to you by test gorilla so it should be easy and familiar. Um, and th this one is for tests, basically for preparation, because a number of companies will use that. And then, and then there will be one that will be giving you, or probably a, a bit more on advanced Python that other people request and as well. So we want to really just you to know what kind of questions are there, but just take this one as a way of like getting familiar with this form of testing. Um, and I think you know a few people already completed. Um, I'm just I was just checking. So I mean I I can show you because just for the sake of knowledge, what how other people see you, you can see. So this is my the screen. Can you see? Yes. So it's basically that's how it 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 comes to me. You know who is invited, like that means who is started, who basically registered and clicked and who has started the evaluation and who has completed and, and basically i get all the information including a number of other um, data that that is basically like whether they had basically um, you know like some kind of results i can send it to you um, and i can get more information and including tests when I when they open, as you can see, I get all of the, the thing. So webcam enabled, you know, filled out nicely from IP address and, and all that detail. So the one thing, this is all just to show you, I think, you know, as yesterday I was saying, the most important part that is, that needs, you have to understand that they see you and basically be prepared. I don't think that is an issue for you but it's much more, um, the, you know, it's much more to know that to be prepared very well and to be able just to, you know, to know what kind of tests, how, how are the tests kind of composed. Sometimes it's an essay, sometimes it's just a multiple question. 
and then the Python one or the JavaScript one, you have more technical some things that you have to code and get an answer. Sometimes they are tricky, like because they want especially the advanced versions. So it is for like and the most important part here is to really allow you to get familiar so that when someone sends you this kind of test, you uh, you know you kind of compete well. Our experience from last batch four was that actually most people failed it. Even if they are really good coders, they failed it. And I think it mostly was much more of not getting familiar with that. I think the way that we are training you much more is for the actual work environment, while these things are just entrance. And, and so that's why this time we just thought, okay, let's just give you also the, the flavor of it. Okay. So I think the information you can ask some people, you can discuss, you can ask in Slack. I think it should be easy, straightforward if you're confused, but be prepared. So this afternoon, allocate one hour, try to finish everything in one hour. That way you will just be, you know, you'll just be good uh, established. So I, I expect you to just this afternoon, just like on the tutorial time, there's no tutorial. It's only the tutorial is just for you to take this test. So I expect everyone to complete by then. Okay, hope that's clear. Thank you. Um, Dynamo, good morning. Can you please share? If you are able to speak. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, so yesterday, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I think there's a bit of a lag. Uh, so yesterday I went through the challenge document, uh, uh, but I'm not sure if I completely understood what I'm supposed to do. I need to go through it again. Uh, and uh, also I set up, uh, I cloned the uh, last week's repository. Um, and uh, I have all, all, also registered for the test Corella and I plan to keep in the other now. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Titus, your hand is up. You can go ahead. Okay, I'm not sure if Titus can speak. Uh, you did, yeah. Okay. You were... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, yeah, Titus. Okay, good morning. I hope you, yes, you I can, can hear me. Okay, yeah, so from my side also yesterday, I was just uh, working on completing uh, my last week uh, task, especially the visualization. So basically, yeah, that was what I was doing yesterday. And uh, I also went through the challenge document. Um, so today, and also just looked at uh, the test gorilla uh, and did some few preparations. So today I'll be doing the exam and also um, I also try and go through the like, uh, basically just go through the document again to gain better understanding and also get familiarize myself with the tools that I'll use. So yeah, that's my progress so far. Thank you for volunteering. Uh, you did it now, you can go ahead. Uh, okay, good morning, Gary. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so to give an update, <clears throat> yesterday I haven't been uh, working on the document because of power issue actually. There was a power outage at my place starting from Sunday evening and the internet connection was also not good. Uh, but I've gone through the challenge document and I think it's somehow similar to last week's challenge and we just have to change some of the text stack that we've been using. I've also gone through the test gorilla platform and I've been trying to uh, understand the, the platform and I've also started the assessment. But just one question on the challenge document, I, I haven't been on yesterday's introduction to the challenge document. I'm sorry if I missed that. Uh, are we going to use another tool for transformation or are we going to keep using dbt for the transformation? You, you are going to use dbt for transformation still, but if there are needs to change, like dbt that you write for um, you know, one database might not be the same for another database in that mm. case. And table structures, if you change, that will be very different. 
So yeah. you just basically have to migrate your DBT scripts as well, if they're if necessary. Okay, uh, maybe later can we also look into other tools uh, that you can use for transformation? You can. It's just that the industry standard is DBT on its own invented the whole ELT. Just oh, okay. uh, to give, um, I mean, there are probably, I'm sure, many, but DBT basically on its own is just the one that has invented, they basically call it just the ELT framework. And analytics engineering basically became like, yeah, they coined even the term. Just, but yeah, absolutely, you are, you are, you are welcome. Okay, thanks. Uh, that's all from my side, Kerry. Thank you. Thank you, Didier. Uh, this way, your hand is up. Please go ahead and share. Hello, Kerry. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, your connection is a bit. Okay. 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 Uh, I hope you can hear me. So, um, yesterday I have gone through the challenge document, and I think uh, most of the, the main task is how can you uh, migrate the already uh, built warehouse from uh, one database to another database. I first did. Uh, I first built my warehouse with using uh, Postgres, so now I'm going to use MySQL. Um, so uh, it's all about that. So I will. I think I will do it uh, today, and I'll try to finish as fast as I can because I want to work on the uh, four uh, projects that I'm going to project next week. So, yeah, I have planning. I have uh, planned it that way. So, I plan it like by tomorrow. I have to finish this week's uh, tasks at least up to uh, the dashboard. So, yeah, that's the plan, and yeah, track. Great, glad to hear that you've got a plan in place. Uh, Gezan, good morning. Can you please share? Okay, I'm not sure if he can speak. Oh, okay, he's mine. Okay, he's unmuted. I'm not sure if he can speak. No, we cannot hear you. Well, I can't. I'm not sure if everyone else can hear you. Okay, he's going to share in the messages. Jeremy, good morning. Can you please share? Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, okay, yesterday I was working on uh, putting plans how to work on a uh, week six project. Since I picked the Web3 pass, I'm going to polish uh, my Maya and projects. Okay, it seems he's done sharing. Martin, good morning. Could you please share? Okay, I'm not sure if he can speak. Um, let's give them a moment. Nahom, good morning. If you are able to speak, please share with us your updates if you have any blockers. Okay, good morning, everyone. So yesterday, I just went to through the challenge document and I've initialized my repo. I haven't done much besides that, so... I'll continue today. 
Thank you for sharing. Um, salam, good morning. Are you able to share? Okay, uh, good morning. Well, yesterday I was going through the challenge document and uh, trying to use the Postgres SQL. Since last week, I used uh, MySQL as my data warehouse. Um, besides that, uh, I'm planning to take the test coil lot today. And that's it on my side. Thank you. I'm just seeing who has spoken, who is still supposed to speak. I think that everyone has shared either verbally or in the messages. So if I'm going to just ask the Team Academy team, anyone from the Team Academy team, if there are any announcements before we get into the hot seat and the hot seat player is Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah, so <clears throat> yesterday there was, uh, Yudidia was not there, even if he wanted to present. So can we just hear his presentation? And also anyone who wants to present, um, I think there is time, so we, we can use that this time. Okay, yeah, there, there is some time, so. Yeah, so I will just take until 45, we have um, something around, 13 minutes. So, Yididi, are you ready to present? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. So, you have five minutes, and you can, at the end of five minutes, you can request one more minute. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, let me just go over the report, or over my point. Uh, maybe let me just go over the report and show you what I've, had, what I've done. Uh, so basically the architecture looks like the first part is loading the data into, or just extracting the data and uh, loading it into a suitable format. Then the airflow will, on a scheduled basis, it will load it into our data warehouse. For the data warehouse, I've used Postgres. And after the data has been loaded into uh, airflow, there is going to be transformation. And I've used GBT for the transformation and the transformation will just basically use some kind of <clears throat> aggregations on the data that have been loaded. So the aggregations are will be useful for the analytics part that's going to be done using Redash. And I've just summarized the data that has been uh, loaded. And after the transformation, finally, Redash will be able to uh, make some, I, I was able to work on some visualizations using Redash. So uh, when using Airflow, I, I first loaded the data. I used Docker Compose to spin up the containers, Airflow, Postgres, DBT, and Redash. Uh, and I've also built on, uh, for the Airflow, what the, the required parameters were, uh, I set up a, an emailing service. So on the challenge document, it's required to set up an emailing alert or Slack notification. I used an emailing service. So when the task fail or the schedules fail, it will email or it will alert the administrator that the tasks are failed. And for the others, the user, the UID, the JID, and other required parameters were all put, the DBT and the airflow required parameters were put in the environment variable. Uh, so after the configurations have been put in the airflow, the airflow was able to load the data. The, uh, the first thing that I've done was to basically mount the data or the directory into the Docker Compose file because it's going to load it from the current Docker Compose container, from the Docker container and put it into the data warehouse to my Postgres. And finally, using dbt, I've made some transformations. And after the uh, transformations, uh, I've tried to make to do to work on, some, on the Redash, but I wasn't able to spin up the container for Redash. And that's something that I will be working for this week. 
Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't spinned up the containers and I'm not sure if I can show the demo. Maybe if I have time after someone presents, I can go over it. Great. Okay, let's do that. You have still um, three minutes, so you can later. So anyone yesterday who didn't have a chance, who wants to present? Three minutes overview of what they managed to do. Or in the meantime, if you have any question, just at forty five, I will hand over to whoever is leading the today's uh, hot seat. I think it's Jeremy who will be in the hot seat. <clears throat> Dagmai, I think you can try it and see. I think if the different tests, you, you are allowed to take them differently, in my opinion. But just, yeah, try it and then it should work, probably. If not, you will let us know tomorrow. So, and, and you have to know somehow in real, in a job that you actually are interested, you know, this, this is much more of, is okay. So for example, here you can see that the person and this anti-cheating monitor, the person is able to see some stats, status, whether webcam was enabled, full screen mode always was active, mouse always in assessment window. Now, these are okay if they are for like a uh, skill sometimes, but if you couldn't enable webcam for some unknown reason, you have to tell the employer earlier or later, just especially earlier is better, that you are unable to 
activate the webcam because of XYZ. Otherwise, they might just take it again as like, oh, maybe you didn't want to. Um, and that may be working against you. Maybe or maybe not. It's just that, that always, be always, you know, um, on top of your game. That basically means just like one step ahead of them. Okay? So it's just because this is important that you understand that they see different things. And, and given that you are in Africa, which is which doesn't have a brand, a good brand, uh, in every sense, so it's good to be careful, just super careful and kind of communicate. Yes, the test Stella must be finished today. Just that one hour. That's basically that's no company will give you all the time to finish the. I think they will give you one hour and that's it. So you have to just take it this one as a job interview. So I will only consider anything that is finished by the hour that like by the tutorial hour. So by the end of the tutorial, basically. So at 2 p.m. UTC, it's basically you should be finishing that. So you have to be prepared for that time to finish it between 1 and 1 p.m. UTC to 2 p.m. UTC. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, everyone. I think the, when trying to start the Docker Compose file, it's trying to look yeah. for reverse Docker root file. Yeah, don't uh, don't worry then. It's it's sorry, fine. No, no, no. It's okay. It's it's okay. Good. Do you wanna say final things about it, or it's just? Uh, yes. So I think I, I, I have really learned a lot from it because I have seen how to load data from uh, any particular source and load it into our data warehouse. And the data warehouse is perfect place to make some transformation. And I think. DBT implements the ALT pipeline. I've been able to make uh, multiple transformations. One thing that I've done was when I loaded the data, when defining the schema for the, our, from my table, I accidentally uh, used the incorrect type data type for some of the columns. So I was also able to make transformation on that and uh, change the results of one transformation to add to the other one. And finally, I was able to uh, work on the whole ALT pipeline. The only thing that I'm missing is the visualization part, and I hope to work more on that using Redash and as well as this week's visualization. Great. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I put Edelia, like on Monday, I would have expected everyone to be ready because Monday is the usual time, and you would have a, you know, you would, you should know. Of course, this is the, the last one will be next Monday, so it's, you know, uh, it's all good, but you have to. You basically have to get it on Monday, you have to present, so you must be prepared and ready. And so I wouldn't take any excuse on Mondays, but today I just put you on the spot, so it's fine. Um, and another thing that, yeah, um, does the noise, that's why I don't under, do you want to present or? Ah, you mean for, for Test Gorilla? I don't think so. I think it's, uh, they don't record the, I think it's only a webcam screenshot. So it's not noise. So yeah, I, I, in my opinion, again, it's a good question. I think uh, I can, I will send you the test results by basically once you finish so that you will see uh, your own, whatever, how I see it. And also tomorrow I will share more, more outcomes and then we'll design also more advanced one um, for some time, either next week. So I, I don't think it matters this time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so does exiting the full screen matters or does it check if you, At the least you have to read? Us? You have to read for coding. It is, I think I've seen that you did JavaScript yes. the part. So you, you had to go to probably um, some editor. In that case, they allow they allow that clearly, but sometimes for some tests, you should probably not leave. I mean, they, they should tell you what is required, probably. And in that sense, again, you know, it's um, if you have to do these different things, just send them because in principle, you know, your employer email, you already know they are, con they are in contact with you. That's why they sent you this thing. So you just can tell them like, 
okay, I've completed my thing, and I, of course, I probably have to this, that, that, but it is just more for because I had to do X, Y, Z. Just a very, very simple, respectful, understanding way of, you know, things. You don't have to be too detailed why you change, whatever, but like, you know, just that. Okay, so. Um, yes, 1 to PM UTC. I mean, it's just a tutorial type. Yeah, so there's no tutorial. Instead of that, there is this one. Yes, Mero. And if you can't take it in that time, just let me know. But you have to send an email to me just to say, or at least uh, uh, a Slack message, direct message, just letting me know that you are unable. But try hard. Every excuse you give, if it is not reasonable, it's not, you know, just try hard. I think this time is just really for the next three weeks, four weeks, just really make sure that you land a good job. And that means you do all, all the, you know, you kind of take the time to actually get a good job. Just so, and just much more. Binyam. Okay. Uh, how many times can we take uh, the exam? And uh, can we take today's exam before the, t today's tutorial I, time? I, I, or? I think only in today's tutorial time. I mean, in the sense that you can take it at any time. I'm just much more. Okay. So if you can take it now, it's okay. I am just much more setting that the, the last time, 2 p.m. UTC to be the the last time. Just just so that it's a, it's a you know you don't take it, you know, you don't just postpone it for tomorrow, the day after, whatever. Okay. So it's basically I'm saying from now you can take it at any time, but make sure that you finish by 2 p.m. by the end of the tutorial. That's what I mean, just to clarify. Um okay, so I know that I, I I'm taking more time, but it's basically you know, make sure that somebody, somebody, an employer send you this test and you are, they gave you an instruction, take it. Usually they don't, because of, if they take this to Gorilla, they only give you a deadline by when you have to finish it. And, and then test Gorilla would allow you only one time. Just for example, if, if right now what I see is that because there are multiple tests, you can take them each separately, even if they recommend all in one but you can take them separately. You can take them now, you can take them later, like, but you have to finish one test within one time. So there are four tests, you can take them four times in that sense. But to redo the test, I have to allow it. So you can't do that, I think. Um, I, I, I'm also just learning about this gorilla, so just, I'm, it's, it's not a, the final information I'm giving you. Okay, so hopefully that's clear and um, sorry for taking more time than 45 minutes. I'm back to you, whoever is leading the, the hot seats. Thank you. Um, so our hot seat player for today is Jeremy. Let us get our questions ready and hands up. And Jeremy can put his camera on, unmute. And I'll set the timer. So I'm setting the timer. Okay, I'm going to start with, with a question and I'm setting the timer now. Five minutes. Jeremy, what is the best book you've ever read? Mm. I haven't read any books. Um, okay. Are there any questions for Jeremy? Can we please get our hands up for his questions? I'll follow up with that. Why have you not read any books? He did, yeah. Uh, okay, Jeremy, what's the worst thing that you've done to someone? Mm. Okay, uh, I put a pin, uh, I pin uh, in his uh, seat before he's sitting, and uh, yeah, my friend uh, sits on a, on my pin. Dynamo? 
So what is your favorite movie? Uh, Spider-Man. Biruk? Hi, Jeremy. What is your favorite picture you have captured and what is the story behind it? Um, uh, I've, I've captured uh, many pictures, but uh, uh, I don't see any story behind uh, the photos. But my, five, my, my favorite picture is uh, I've captured a building. Matilda has asked your worst experience in life so far. Okay, uh, my worst experience. Uh, I've jumped from a uh, first floor blindfolded. Biruk. Uh, sorry, what is the base? The, the best thing or the best thing you have learned here in Tena Uh Okay, dedication. Matilda asks, "What is the best thing that has happened in your that you have experienced in life so far?" Uh, okay, I've done a snorkeling. That's my best experience I've done so far. Gezan asks, "What do you do in your spare time?" Uh, I I play music. Okay, I've got a question. What is your favorite food? My favorite food, pizza. There is one minute and thirty seconds left for questions. Yeah, Baba. Yeah. So, which animal, if you have to describe yourself, which animal describes you best? Uh, I think so much thinking. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Stella asks, what do you consider most important in life? Family. Matilda, pros and cons of being a vegetarian. What? The pros and cons of being a vegetarian. Uh, the pros, uh, uh, long lifetime. And the cons, uh, yeah, the cons, maybe you'll be uh, skinny like me. Sandra, what, what is success to you? Uh, success is like uh, being able to reach uh, uh, to, to my goal. Gezan asks, what is your favorite writer? Since I haven't uh, read any books. Matilda ask, what is your life vision? Okay, my life vision. Um, Time is up. You can answer. Okay, I, I want to start my own startup and continue uh, my current career path as Web3 India. Okay, Malaku, you are a bit late. Okay, everyone. Thank you, Jeremy, for sharing yourself with us. Thank you, everyone, who asked questions. If there's nothing else that anyone wants to add, any questions that you need to ask, we can wrap up today's daily stand-up. Okay, everyone have a great day and good luck with the test.
um, have a great rest of your week 12.